Bet y'all thought I was dead. Sometimes I feel like I was dead. Hey, look, and look who we got over there. I mean, it's only been like, what, three months? Three years is what it felt like. But look, we got the boat, we're at the pond. That's right, we are back, at least for, for right now. And uh, today's video, because there was a lot of questions about this too, like number one, where did you go? And I think a lot of y'all probably already know, and I'll explain that later. But uh, this video is sponsored by the old Mystery Tackle Box. If you don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is by now, I mean, you've just been living under a rock. What Mystery Tackle Box is is a subscription-based service, and they send you a box of baits every single month. I know Christmas literally just got done last month. But here's the thing, you can keep it going all year round by going and getting a mystery tackle box and having it shipped to your door every single month. It usually usually ships about like the third or fourth and it gets to you somewhere around the 10th and the 15th, somewhere in that area. A lot of whole big thing with the old, you know, shipping. That's been a nightmare this year. Anyway, <clears throat> Chris. Sir. Aren't you glad this video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box? Heck yeah. You know why? Wow. What did you leave at the house? All my tackle. Like, legit, you brought just fishing poles, a GoPro. And myself. And yourself, that's it. Sometimes that's all you need to catch fish when you're an All-American though. I mean, let's be, let's be honest. It has been probably four months since I've been out to the pond. I really have no idea what's going on out here. Chris, have you been fishing out here at all lately? Negative, sir. So, he's got no idea what's going on out here. We're gonna try to get on a few. I'll explain where I've been to some of y'all who don't know, <laughs> and uh, what kind of the future looks? I have been in jail. I've been incarcerated. I'll uh, I'll explain all of that and uh, how what what the future looks like. Um, so stay tuned. Let's get on the water. Let's get on the chesty. Good thing I got my boots. Oh. Ah. Ain't that bad? <laughs> it gives the boat character. You're right. We don't need any more character. We got you. All the character you need. Uh, <laughs> and we don't have to use all the baits in them. We just need to talk about them a little bit. Because I've already got a jerk bait tied on. I've got a shaky head tied on. Like, I feel pretty confident with what I've got. But if there's something in here we want to throw, we can definitely throw it. I got two months worth. So, spinner bait. Is it a little reflective? It was. It's got some little like paddle tails with a little jig head. That might actually be all right. Little bitty guy. That I don't think is going to play at all. It's like a bigger swim bait. Okay, eh, no, I don't think so. We've also got some egg zones. We like their little other bait, but that's like a paddle tail, some hooks, a little bitty, I don't even know what that is. It looks like a jerk bait, but it's got a weird lip on it. I ain't got a clue. And some like little bitty tiny crawls. Let's see. All right, so that was the December box. This is the box I got in January. We've got like a flat sided crank. Mm -hmm. That might work. It's like an old crawl pattern. We've got a Guggen Squad banger, a little square bill. Got some stick baits. This uh, 4D trawl, mm -hmm. and like almost like a Blue yeah, it's like a blue blue pumpkin. I don't know what you call that. Guggen's call that blue baby, if that makes any sense. And then we've also got these. It's blue crawl in the uh, Sakoshi bug. Uh, the tightrope jig. It's, it's a little like finesse. Bug, it's a little finesse hand. jig. Yeah. They, they custom made them to, to be able to pick off smallmouth and not get hung up. It's actually a really pretty good little jig. We've also got some some strange shaped wide gap hooks to uh, help you pin fish better. So those are the boxes and I've got a duplicate of each. So we can just sort of rummage through these. You should have plenty of tackle. If you don't, Chris, I've got more tackle under here. Um, and I'll explain how I have come to acquire so many Guggen baits now. Uh, that's gonna sort of go with our story. Uh, rattling chunks that we can put on the back of a jig. And then I've also got some Carl's Amazing Baits and some Z-Man Baits, and I'll explain why those would work good on that tightrope jig, because I'm probably gonna throw that tightrope jig a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with a little shaky head, little Guggen Squad. I think that is the natural color uh, Guggen Baits Slim Shake. And Chris has got the Sakoshi Bug on a drop shot. And if you didn't know, you're wondering where have we been? Well, Chris has been telling me, let's go fishing, let's go fishing. That's where you've been. Yep. And I've been telling you, I'm super busy, I'm super busy, I'm really tired, I'm super busy. And a lot of the reason is I'm super busy is because I've jumped on another YouTube channel um, and have become the camera guy and editor on that channel. 
Um, I did a live stream on it. I even had the guy that owns the channel call in, and that is MLF Pro Dustin Connell, who is sponsored by Guggen Baits. Um, Y'all may remember him from the uh, series the Guggen Squad did two years ago called The Weight uh, that followed him and Jacob Wheeler around. And uh, I'm now his camera guy and editor. So that's what's been occupying my time is trying to get his channel right and getting prepared for this upcoming season because literally today's the 18th and literally one month from now, February 18th, we're going to be in Texas um, <coughs> getting ready for Red Crest. Uh, so that's the plan and that's where I have been if you've been curious. So the, the videos over here aren't going to necessarily stop but they're definitely gonna slow down, like heavily. Uh, so far, the people that support my channel, like Mystery Tackle Box, Catch Co., all those guys, nothing's really changed. Uh, they don't really seem to mind. They've actually asked me and Chris twice now to do a Mystery Tackle Box video for February, no, December and January. They haven't asked for February yet, although they left it open-ended that just send anything we get. Um, Number one, I don't know if y'all are having the same problem, but fishing has sucked just because it's so cold. The bass that are down here in Alabama, they don't really like cold very much unless you're on like the Tennessee River. Um, most of these bass do not dig. Dig being out here in the cold. But if y'all have any questions about any of that, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. I'll respond to as many as I can, if not all, because I typically do respond to all of them, as long as you're not being like a little, you know, a little douche nugget, I, I won't respond to those. But if, you, if, you've, if you're being, you know, being nice, just asking a, a random question, I'll be more than happy to answer about how all that's going. At least got to get, get this in their face. I may need to do a moving bait. Yeah, it is super clear. Like, I can see the bottom. We're probably in four or five feet right now. So, anyway, I, it's going to be an interesting year. There's there's a lot of cool stuff that I can't even tell y'all is about to happen. Um, just because it's not my news to tell. But y'all need to stay tuned because there's going to be some stuff. Not only on his channel, but other channels that uh, it's going to be really neat to watch this season unfold. And plus, I think Dustin's due. Like, I think he's had several good showings in a lot of these tournaments, finished in the top 10 several times. I think the guy's due to win, and I, I think this year's probably going to be the year. So if you haven't already, though, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. If y'all don't mind, and you're watching this video, go subscribe to that channel. I'm on there occasionally. He lets me, like, pop my ugly mug in there every now and then and just say something. I just need to catch a fish. I may tie on one of them crankbaits that's in the box. All right, we're both switching baits. We're going to moving baits. So I've got the Strike Pro, German yeah. grade. The secret weapon. And I'm going with the Banger. Honestly, I know we've already got another side, flat-sided crank in here, and that may be this Lucky John flat crank. All right, maybe something I go to a little later. Five to nine feet, not bad. It's a little bit deeper than I want. Um, two to five feet on this banger. It's really ideal with what I'm trying to do. But more importantly, I really wish I had the flat banger. The flat banger would be the deal right now. I want them to be doing a, chasing a moving bait because I want to try to figure out where what, what they're on or where they're at. But. Good grief. All right. I'm gonna change baits again. I think I'm gonna go to that flat-sided crank that gets a little deeper. And then we'll stay off the bank further. One eternity later. Dude, I'm about ready to call this. This is this is not good. 
So we're out here for roughly two hours, not even a stinking bite. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed hearing me talk to Chris about random things and not catch anything. Um, I do want to thank Mystery Tackle Box for being a sponsor. If you want to pick up your own Mystery Tackle Box, you know what to do, link in the description. Use the code BFISHING at checkout and get your first box for as little as $10. Um, and outside of that, me and Chris are going to wrap it up. And uh, this is probably how most of y'all's wintertime fishing is going right now. It is very slow, they're very lethargic, and you have a hard time, if you even do find them, you have a hard time getting them to bite. The water is just way too clear and it's way too cold, at least at the pond right now. But anyway, if you want to check DC fishing out, go ahead and do that. Again, I'll leave a link in the description. There's going to be a bunch of stuff in the description. I'm going to leave a link in the description though and uh, go on and pop over there, hit the subscribe button, and you'll get to see me every now and then. And uh, hopefully we're going to travel. Uh, we're going to Texas in a month to Lake Palestine, I believe that's what it's called, even though the guys over there call it the Stein, so you want to say Palestine, but it's actually Palestine. Very confusing. And then we've also got uh, North Carolina for heavy hitters. We go back to Sam Rayburn. There's several tour stops in Texas, along with Florida later on, Tennessee, going to Chickamauga. And then there's the north, the northern swing of things when we're in uh, New York a couple times. So anyway, it's going to be a fun year. I'm excited about it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and uh, going to get to make some awesome content. And uh, yeah, there you go. We will catch you on the next one, uh, whenever that may be. Chris, do you want to say anything? Later, taters. All right, guys, y'all have a good one.